Hello loves. So I'm doing a little bit different today. Um, filming on my phone. Long story short, my computer keeps cutting off every time I edit and it's getting on my nerves and I have to take it to the Apple store and I just haven't taken it yet and I'm just slacking in going to take it to the Apple store. So I'm going on my phone because I can edit on my phone with uh, the iMovie because I have an iPhone. So I'm just going to edit this on my phone because I miss putting up videos for you guys. So this is just a natural hair show and tell. I just French braided my hair and I added in some Kinecolon extensions. So I started off with my hair. It was just in like a twist out updo and I just took it out. I'm just going to part it. I have a little side part and I'm going to part straight down the back. Um, I moistened my hair a little bit to make it a little bit easier, but it's completely dry hair. Then I'm going to section off the side and I'm going to finger detangle. It's easier to do this, um, do this braid when your hair is finger detangled. Easy for your fingers to slide through and to braid through. Once again, I moistened my hair. Here I'm just using some gel to gel on my edges I put gel on there first and at the end um, but to put it on there first so you can kind of get like a straight start off and um, you know where your your hair knows where you want to go here I'm using leftover connect on from my long twists I just tw took them out and then I just retwisted them up in big twists to preserve them and I'm gonna split it in half like two-thirds and one-third it was I took a front section part right here and I just parted it out with my finger because this is going to be the top layer that hides the hair. And I'm just going to place this right behind here. And each of these is going to be a section of the braid. So it's one, two, three. And I'm going to use this one to go with this front section. Grab a section from here. And then this section is going to be over here. And I'm going to do my French braid that way. So I'm going to grab two with this hand, one with this hand. And this hand's actually... I'm gonna go back like this. And I'm just gonna situate my hand closer. Okay. Put a little bit more gel here in the front because I want it to be as sleek as possible. I'm gonna make sure I'm taking my time as I'm doing my braid. I'm also gonna make sure I'm adding gel to my edges as I go. Once again, this just helps it be more sleek. Um, as I go through my hair, I'm also gonna be pushing my hair towards the front because I want more height in the front of my hair. And I'm gonna to continue to French braid down. If you need a good French braiding tutorial, just leave me a comment down below and I'll find you one. But me trying to explain this and French braid at the same time would have been bad news bears I'm not good. How I, it turned out. Pretty good. I'll show you from the back. I haven't even looked back there, so I don't know if my part is straight or not, but it is what it is. Um, it's kind of rough. Like my hair is kind of sticking out some places, but it will do the job. I'm just probably going to keep this in for two days. Uh, I like this technique because at the beginning you can't tell that I've added hair in, you know, so from far away it, you know, looks like my hair and it just gives me some length, easy style. Like I said, I'm only going to keep it in for like two days and then I'm going to end up doing my hair. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick natural hair show and tell video. If you want to check out my other show and tell video, it's of flexi rods and it's not a tutorial. It's just basically showing you how my hair turned out. That's the same concept with this. If you guys like these videos, make sure you give me a thumbs up. So once again, uh, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.